God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not comfortable to think about it. But death is coming. And death may be even today. And the Bible says that after death there is an afterlife. And there's only a heaven and there is a hell. There's nothing else. Some would think and hope that, oh, once I die, that's it, but that's not it. Some have made up imaginary places, Bahala, Purgatory, but they're dreams and fantasies. They're not the Bible. And you may say, well, preacher, what must I do to go to heaven? And the Bible's response is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There's nothing else that will get you to heaven. Nothing you can do. When it has already been finished and accomplished by Jesus Christ. Going to heaven <coughs> is by Jesus Christ suffering and dying according to the scriptures. And being buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what the Bible calls the gospel. And it's kind of interesting that the Bible says about the gospel, another word for the gospel is good news. Glad tidings. That means the gospel. And I'll tell you, anything else besides that Jesus Christ suffering and dying and being buried and rose again the third day, that's fake news. That's religion. And religion is man-made. But Jesus Christ is God-approved. That going to heaven is not accidental. You're not going to die and say, oh, here I am in heaven. And you can't hope your way into heaven. You can't wish your way into heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You can't do anything good. You can't join a particular church or denomination. You can't be baptized. To get, those don't get you to heaven. They get you into hell. There are many, many good people in hell. There are many church the churchgoers that are in hell. There are plenty of people who were baptized that are in hell. And they are in hell because they rejected Jesus Christ as their Savior. One goes to hell because on the finished work of Jesus Christ alone, you tell Jesus no. I don't want Jesus. I don't want the Bible. 
And when you tell Jesus no, you are rejecting God. Even in the name of a religion, you are rejecting God. And when you die rejecting God, telling Jesus no, God and Jesus Christ will reject you. If you deny Jesus Christ, he'll deny you. Now, don't get it confused with a religious Jesus. Because the religious Jesus is not the biblical Jesus. And even the Apostle Paul tells us that there's another Jesus. And if you got your faith in the incorrect Jesus, you'll find the, the end of your life and the beginning of eternity in a place called hell. Being deceived. And Satan and man are great at deceiving. There are people in hell today that honestly thought they would go to heaven. And they were deceived by something or someone besides the Lord God, Savior, Jesus Christ. And even in atheism, well, I'll just choose to reject God. And yet the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Because you choose to reject God, you're going to meet God one day. It's not, okay, there's no God in your thinking, okay, there's no God. All the universe doesn't focus about what you think and what you believe. There are people out there who, you know, I don't know what my gender is. Gender identity. And yet the plain simple fact is there's a male and there's a female. That's how God created. Because you think, you believe, does not make it so. I mean, I can believe all I want. I'm a chocolate chip gingerbread man. That doesn't make it so. And to come to think, well, there's no God. I don't believe in God. When the Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there's no God, and the Bible says prepare to meet thy God. Well, I don't, and I've had atheists tell me, well, I don't believe. That's okay. The God you don't believe in, you're going to face one day. The God that you chosen to say, I don't believe in you, that God one day is going to say, hi, how you doing? Here I am. Now give an account of yourself. And let me tell you that Mary is not a God. Mary is not going to get you anywhere, any place, anyhow. Mary was not sinless. When she brought the baby Jesus on the eighth day, and then she offered the, the turtle doves and the doves, she was offering the sin offering of Leviticus chapter 12. And one may say, well, Mary is my mediator. 
And yet the Bible says that there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. Mary does not fit the qualifications of the mediator by being a female. There's no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. Well, I'll turn to Jehovah Witnessism. You mean a Jesus that's not God? A Jesus that is not God is another Jesus that can't save you. Because in order for Jesus to be the Savior, he has to be the Lord Jesus Christ. That means God. And to say that Jesus is not God, as Jehovah Witnesses will tell you, I'm here to tell you that one of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, said, My Lord, my God. I'm here to tell you that Jesus himself said, I and the Father are one. I'm here to tell you that the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, shoots down the theory that Jesus is not God. And the fact is that the Jehovah Witnesses and the Catholics and the morons, our Mormons, have another Jesus. And another Jesus is not the biblical Jesus that will get you to heaven. And I'm not knocking religions. I'm telling you the truth according to what the scriptures say. Listen, if you eat and drink the blood of Jesus called the Catholic Mass, you're not saved, you're a cannibal. Cannibal in the darkest reams of Africa eat human flesh. And that's what you are as a Catholic. You are a cannibal eating Jewish flesh. That ain't going to save you. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For with the heart man believes unto salvation, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Nowhere but does it say to eat and drink Jesus. It's a heresy. It's fraud. It's deceit. And it will get you into hell. And we preach Jesus how you may not, not go to hell. You know, the standard expression by man is go to hell. Well, we preach Jesus that you may not go to hell. And how you not go to hell is you put your faith and trust alone in Jesus Christ. Your membership, your baptism, your tithing, your offering, your contribution, your being good is never good enough. And it cannot be good enough. When Jesus Christ, who is God, suffered and died as 100% man and 100% human and God, Jesus Christ was man. Jesus Christ is God. And he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. What are you going to do to top what God Jesus Christ hath done. And also to mention that God, Jesus Christ, was virgin born. He was born without a human father. God, 
Jesus Christ created all the heavens and earth. How are you going to top that? Our creator, our God, suffered and died that we might have the eternal life. What are you going to do to improve what God has done? And the thing is, if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, you will be weighed against Jesus Christ. And if you're better than Jesus, you'll get to heaven. But you'll never be better than Jesus. So you won't get to heaven. Jesus Christ is the measure. And you'll never measure up to Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is God. You're not God. You're a creation of God. The very first requirement to be Jesus to save yourself is that you have to be God. It is God that suffered and died, according to the scriptures. The Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that he is God. They are in great deception. It is God that they buried. And it is God that after three days and three nights came out of that tomb alive. Can you meet those qualifications to save yourself? Can your religion, whatever it may be, is your religion able to be if not equal to God, better than God through Jesus Christ. Because everything's going to weigh out against you, against Jesus. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And if you are in rejection of Jesus... In order to believe that you're going to go to heaven or have a ch chance to go to heaven, you have to be God, manifested in the flesh, sinless, creator, virgin born, and you're not. You do not fit the qualifications of the Lord Jesus Christ. So just put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Because anything but Jesus Christ will come up short. And when you come up short, you don't get to heaven. It sounds good. Oh, if I go to church, I'll go to heaven. It sounds good, but it's not the truth. If I give a particular religion 
money. I'll buy myself into heaven. Or maybe not a religion, to a charity. I'll give money to a charity. That sounds good. But it's not biblical. Charity giving doesn't get you to heaven. Well, I'll get a hold of a church denomination or a non-denomination and I'll go get baptized in water. I'll get sprinkled. And that sounds good. But that's not salvation. Salvation is to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It does not say, for God so loved the world he gave a baptism. It does not say, for God so loved the world he gave a church. It did not say, for God so loved the world that you give charities. It doesn't say, for God so loved the world, be a good person. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish. If you want to go to heaven, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For he that hath the Son, Jesus, hath everlasting life. He hath not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. There is no life outside the faith of, in the Lord Jesus Christ. God is not satisfied with what you do. God is satisfied with what Jesus done. That's the big difference. And if God's not satisfied with you and what you do, then you're not going to be satisfied where God will put you in the absence of Jesus. In the absence of Jesus, you will go to hell. And hell is just as real as heaven. And heaven is just as real as hell. And heaven and hell is just as real as you are. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved is to be saved from hell and go into heaven through Jesus Christ alone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus will get you welcomed into God's glory. Nothing. When Jesus Christ himself said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And when Jesus said, he is the way, your religion is not a way. Your baptism is not a way. Being good is not a way. Giving charity is not a way. When Jesus said, he is the way. Definite article, if you remember your school day.
When Jesus said he is the way, he set a mouthful and set the standard that there is nothing, nothing, no one else that's going to get you to heaven. Whatever you think, whatever you believe, whatever you've been taught. There's only one way to heaven. And that's through the door, through the blood, through the water of life, through the way, the truth, and the life, the gift of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. That is how you get to heaven. And there is no heaven without Jesus Christ. And Christians are told to go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel, the good news is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And since Jesus is the way, spoken by himself, spoken by God, if you got something other than Jesus, there's no way to heaven. No matter what you believe, no matter what you think, no matter where you go, or who you go with. If it's not the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not getting to heaven. And if you have been deceived. You have been deceived by the devil. And by man. And when a preacher comes up on a Saturday morning to tell you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's not deception. That's the King James Bible. The Bible says. Not man, not a church. Not a denomination. The Bible says that Jesus is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life and he is the only access to God the Father. And you may say, well, I got married. You're not going to meet God. I go to church. You're not going to meet God. I was baptized. You're not going to meet God. I'm good. You're not going to meet God. I give. You're not going to meet God. I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come now to the joy. You will only be welcomed into heaven by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world through the blood of God shed upon Calvary's hill by the Lord Jesus Christ. And be careful because there's other Jesuses out there. And there are antichrists out there. The world talks about the Antichrist. The Bible says they're Antichrist plural. 
You may be believing in Antichrist. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other way. There's no other heaven. But the heaven where Jesus abounds. And the dwelling place of Jesus. Jesus can set the rules on how to get to where he is. And Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ said. Of his words. He is the way. Listen, I've come out of the Catholic Church. I was once a Catholic. That didn't save my soul. Religion doesn't save you. Going church, going to church is not salvation. The devil goes to church. I've met plenty of devils in church. I met plenty of people not going to heaven that went to church. Church is not a requisite. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life to heaven. That is the standard set by God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 